Welcome to the Charlotte men's basketball press conference, post-game press conference. Final score was Charlotte 56, 56, North Texas 44. With this win, Charlotte moves to first in the American Conference. Coach, would you like to begin with any opening statements? Uh, like I just said in the locker room, I'm extremely proud of the guys, the toughness that they displayed against a very, very tough team um, have been for the six years we've played them and you know you have to bring that type of intensity and energy and physicality and just the but also the mental and emotional toughness you got to display against them because they're just never going to go away and they showed that again tonight and you know they're battling they got a couple of starters down and um but man we we defended really really well uh, made it really difficult for them um I mean, they made it pretty difficult for us too. I mean, they're you know they're very good defensively too. So, um, but yeah, like I said, really proud of the guys. Um, they executed the scout well. You know, Coach Vic um, was spot on with the scout, and um, you know, a lot of work goes into scouts. I'm not sure a lot of people know that. You know, hours and hours of preparation to show a four-minute video to the players. So. Um, yeah, the work that goes into preparing them and, and uh, the individual scouts and stuff. So, uh, yeah, great job by Coach Vic and um, really proud of the guys. Hi, Coach. Queen, Grace Girl with Queen City News, Fox Charlotte. Just what does it mean to have your team be the top team in the conference at this point in the season? I mean, it's great, um, you know, but, you know, just uh, the big thing that we're trying to do is just to bring some real juice and energy back into the building. Like, that's, you know, that, that's that's what I want to see. That's... You know, that's what I want, you know, this community to have that, that, that a team that, you know, they love to follow, they love the way we play, um, get out here and support us. I mean, the, the atmosphere in there was awesome. You know, like, wherever we are on the ladder, I, I, whatever, I don't really care. I care about us growing and improving and we'll get to practice tomorrow and I'll, you know, get after these guys like I do every day and, you know, they can get to celebrate it tonight. And, um, but tomorrow at 2 o'clock, it'll be, come on, we've got to be better here. We did this really well, you know, and, and, and get ready to play UAB. So, um, and just keep that edge. Got to keep an edge, you know, like when we talked about this uh, leading in, you know, like we've, we've won some games here and it takes a lot of mental toughness to keep an edge when you're, when you're doing some good things and that will be our challenge. Like how you hear Coach talk about the energy, and earlier on in the season it was about getting you guys to buy in. Are you starting to feel that from this fan base that they're buying in? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, yeah, I feel like you know they're starting to see the the, the potential in us, and um, you know when they come, man, it, it's, it brings a different feel for us uh, in the game. They help us a lot, you know, like a lot. Um, if they like a like a six man out there, so. Um, <clears throat> no, I love the energy from them, man. I, I really love the fans here. Um, Coach, Tom, out of the crowd and still. You came into the season, players obviously believed in you. They fought for you to have the job. Fan base seems to be really bought into you. What has gone into that this season? Because it's one of the most electric crowds we've had in a long time. I mean, I've just tried to be me, you know, like um, you know, like the way I coach here is no different than when I coached 35-year-old men. <laughs> Um, back back home in Australia, like I think that's the the energy and passion you got to have to compete, and um, I'm no different. I'm, I'm competing with them, you know, and uh, you know I want them to have great success and and learn and have great experiences, um, <coughs> because those are the things you remember. I remember them as a player playing in a little school in Mayville, North Dakota. Like I still remember those experiences to this day. Like and the teammates that I had and because it's, you know, you talk about it all the time in sport, it's the journey that you travel with the guys and, um, and the past experiences you share and, um, and you do that stuff together, it can be unbelievably powerful and that's what I want them to feel. I want them to feel what the power of a team can do together um, when no one cares about the credit. We talk about it all the time. No, if no one cares, then we can all have success and and uh, do some do some good things. Um, yesterday, you said you probably they probably wouldn't let you get out to a fast start. 
but coming out of both halves, you had a 9-0 run. What worked in those situations for people to get that out? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I, you know, like we just try and be as sharp as we possibly can and, and put the ball in, in the hands of the guys that it needs to be in. And we play a certain way and move the ball and move each other. And, uh, you know, they, they can really extend you offensively because they're very good defensively. And um, so you have to do things a certain way. And that's the preparation that, you know, Coach Vic, puts to the guys and so we need to do this stuff really well and um, because they're going to do this and and uh, the guys were awesome with that. Coach, yesterday you were talking and you saying that no one's going to win the championship today. You right. want to be peaking, you want to play and get to your peak at the end. How do you keep this in perspective and and use this as you try to get to that peak to where you want your team to be? Yeah, I mean, great question. I mean, it's like I talked earlier, like it's about resetting tomorrow and um, and finding ways to continue to grow. All these guys are very young, like very young. You know, like I said, I've coached guys a lot older than this. These guys have got a lot of basketball ahead of them, and they're going to grow a lot over their careers. And and as I say to them, what do I say? You guys never arrive. You never arrive ever. You you. That's what the greats do, right? They get obsessed with, and they get scared ultimately um, to not fail so that that belief to and and that work ethic just to continue to grind away um, that's what I'll ed try and educate them with and you know keeping that edge um, you know that's that's the challenge there's no doubt there's a challenge there because you do get up for big games and then you have to better not release it you know, it's a, it's a mentality, um, and uh, we, we have talked about that stuff, and I'm sure we'll bump up and down the road probably a little bit more, but that's what it's about, and um, but you're right. I want them to be playing their best basketball at the right time, and we can still improve a lot. Yeah, uh, inspiring. So I said in the locker room, I mean, yeah, very, very inspiring. Um, and I talked about that before the game. Like, find a way to inspire your teammates. That's a hard block out. That's a dive on the ball. That's set great screens. It's like, do things that inspire your teammates. And um, defensively, we work very hard at that end. And I think we've shown that we can defend people. Um, and I'm... I'm wired that way. Like, I get excited with teams playing D. Um, but I also do want them to reward themselves at the other end by playing with a bit of freedom and, and getting out and having a bit of fun. And and uh, because, yeah, I do put a lot of res res responsibility and pressure on them to defend. And they know that. Um, and that won't change. But if you want to be, if you want to be great, you've got to play defense. I don't care what sport it is. doesn't matter. The Australian Open's going on right now. Those tennis guys are going to be able to play D, right? So um, team sports are, are no different. Coach, looking at the stats, you held them to – they had 17 field goals. They only had two assists on the field goal. For someone who isn't as aware of basketball, what, what does that tell you about the, the defense? You want to answer that? I'm sorry, you said that again. <laughs> <laughs> he said coach. I was like, all right, I'm just going <laughs> to – you held them to two assists on 17 made field goals. What, what, does, that, what does that mean as far as for, for the Charlotte defense? Like, what, what can we infer from that? Uh, like uh, he always says, our defense is always, is, you know, <clears throat> we, we, lay, we, hang, we hang our hat on the, on the defensive end. Um, we uh, really, man, just doing our, our, system, our, system, uh, our system things, uh, just relying on the system. And, you know, when we rely on our system and, and uh, do what we're supposed to do. Everything works out for us how it, how it did tonight. Yeah, I think just to follow up on that, I think it's just been very continuous. Um, they've got some guys that can really break you off on the dribble, and if they can get inside and collapse your D, then obviously the ball starts to move, and that's how assists create. Um, and we didn't allow them to do that. Uh, you know, we really packed it in and made it difficult for them to get penetration and 
that ability to sit in gaps and then one way close out, um, yeah, the guys were. I felt that's probably our best defensive effort tonight. Um, but we'll get challenged again on Tuesday. All right. And one final question. This is for you, Lakai. In the past two games, you've made seven of 11 threes. Can you just talk about um, just kind of like your, I guess, your, your, your strategy or your, your training heading into the Rice game and then how that's kind of carried over to tonight as well? Because uh, your four made threes were a career high. Um, yeah, I mean, my teammates really just finding me in uh, good open spots, uh, creating for me to, to get those open looks. Um, and just really the preparation before the game, just getting up shots. Um, I know I just been I've been bummed with a with some ankle problems, so me just technically just getting my my three back up, uh, using more legs in there, and uh, really just that, just the preparation of getting in the gym and <clears throat> and just shooting a shot, you know, a hundred times, the same way. Any more questions? No. Nope. That concludes today's press conference. Thank you all for coming out.